Hey guys, happy Monday. Hopefully you guys got the day off today. I did, pretty stoked about that. So I wanted to come on here and do my first day series on doing necklaces out of a five day. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive in and show you what we're gonna be making for the first day. And these are all to be simple necklaces, guys. Nothing that's too major over the top, just to get you guys started, okay? This one right here is one that I made that I use myself all the time. These are just five millimeter Swarovski crystals, and these are bar necklaces. So these are meant to sit um, kind of like where your collarbone is, and um, in, in that in, in the upper part of your chest area. This is where you would want something like this. This doesn't look really cute if you have it hanging like mid chest area, but it is up to you if you would prefer to have it that long. I do mine at 18 inches. That's my preferred length for my necklaces is 18. But then also too, if I don't wear this by itself, I will wear it as a layering piece. So I'll add two longer pieces of, or two longer necklaces, I would say, and this would be my shortest one. So this is perfect for that as well, okay? So that's the one I wear all the time. These ones I just made prior to this video. So you can see the different styles you can do making these necklaces so I just went through my bead stash and these are all glass beads I have some tiny bead caps and some daisy spacers and then also two right here I just hang a little dangle the dangle I always do it on the end of where the lobster claw is on this side because this side it will never get in the way if you do it on the piece where you're gonna hook the lobster claw on this will always get in the way and you don't want that and I have this right here because this is how you create an extension. So if you're gonna be gifting this to somebody and you don't know their um, neck size, you always would start at 18 inches. That's your smallest size you would wanna start at. And then you would just add one inch increments. So this right here is an additional one inch. And, um, and then I hang the jump ring here. So if this is too small for them, they can add this onto here and it gives them more length. So you can continue to add another inch if you would choose to do so. Um, because I am going to gift these at the end um, of the five day series, I'm going to be adding extenders on everything because I don't know who this is going to go to and how it's going to fit them. So I want to make sure that there's an option to change the length of it. Okay. You can buy extension um, necklace extensions from Michael's and Hobby Lobby, but they're shiny silver and it will not really match with um, these necklaces because this is more of a stainless steel look. So this is another one that I made. I love these bar necklaces. These are super fun. They're like one of my favorite go-to necklaces. This is a Czech glass bead and then these are just regular glass beads. And then you'll see in the back that I did the same thing. I hung a little charm and then I have the extender right there, okay? So these two, one of these will be gifted in the giveaway and then the one I'm creating with you guys will be the second one. This is mine, so that doesn't go there. And you wanna make sure you have your ruler. You wanna make sure you have some flush cutters, round needle nose, regular needle nose. I use mine with the ridges. These right here are cinch needle nose pliers. So if you go into the cinch section, of your Hobby Lobby, you will find these. And these are preferred. They hold on to your jump rings and pieces without slipping off very easily. And they're only six bucks. So I do love these, okay? These are all in my to-go um, jewelry box, not what I actually use on my day-to-day. -day. And um, I'm gonna be using the metal gallery chain. It's not on the spool. I always take them off the spool, but it will be the skinniest chain. Well, I don't know. There might be one more skinnier, but the chain looks like this one and it is um, more of an antique type silver, not the shiny, because the shiny does um, uh, tarnish faster and you don't want that. The jump rings that we'll be using are six millimeter. I happen to have a spare new one, open, so I didn't want to open it. Um, these are round, heavy gauge, okay? These are my preferred jump rings for all my jewelry, okay? Or, or charms, dangles, whatever. And then also too, the size lobster claw that I like to use is this one right here. And it is a 14 millimeter lobster clasp. And this is also Hobby Lobby. This one was on sale this week, so it will not be on sale this week. But um, I like this size because it's not too small and it's not too big. So it's perfect because, um, you know, some ladies have a harder time using the smaller one. So this is a really good size 
um, lobster claw. Okay, so that is that. Let's dive in. Throw that bead away. That was a messed up bead. All right, so I'm gonna use this three inch head pin because I don't have an eye pin with the loop that's three inches long, but that's okay. We can still make one out of this. And these are also from the, the jewelry shop at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, how I'm choosing to design this, is I'm using a super tiny little bead cap. This bead cap was um, from Hobby Lobby. And then we're gonna use this glass bead. These glass beads I get from either Michaels or Hobby Lobby on the multi strands. They have different sizes on them. We have this daisy spacer right here. I do not know the size of this one, but it comes on a strand at Michaels. And it's the bigger daisy spacer, not the small one. They do not have multiple sizes, so it's normally either the bigger or the smaller. Okay, here's another glass bead. I believe these are about an eight or a 10 millimeter bead. But it's your preference, guys, whatever it is that you like, that you wanna um, hang on your um, bar necklace. This right here is a bead cap. And these right here come on a strand at Michael's, okay? So I always get these. I've used these many, many times in my jewelry. This right here, um, I don't know if it's from Michael's. I think it's from Michael's. But it's flat on one side, then it's faceted in the middle, and then it's flat on the other side. I believe that is from Michael's. Okay, so we're gonna use another bead cap. So it looks like this so far. Okay, then we're gonna grab this other. It's kind of like a deep purplish gray color bead. Daisy Spacer, the super light, it's like a grayish, light grayish purple. And then this is the stack I'm gonna do. Okay, so this is super pretty. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the one side round, okay? Like I've shown you before, you keep it flat to where it's not sticking out. My right hand is doing all the work and I'm gonna turn it towards my left thumb. Don't take it out. And then we're gonna turn it again till the metal is touching the metal, like that, okay? Keep this inside still, turn it towards yourself. Clasp or hold tight. And then my right hand is turning towards me. Okay, and then this is what you get. So what we do is we get now the regular needle nose to make sure that it is flat like that, okay? Because it wasn't flat just a minute ago. Now it is. We turn this the other way. We're gonna cut off the head part of it. All the way flush to the top. Don't wanna waste any of this because we need it, okay? Now we're gonna take our round needle nose, okay? And then again, the right hand does all the work. We're gonna turn it towards the metal, keep it inside, turn the pliers towards yourself, and then bend with your right hand, okay? So you see right here, it's perfect. You wanna always make sure that these two are touching all right so we have our centerpiece done easy peasy guys now we're gonna go ahead and grab one of these six millimeter heavy gauge okay and we're gonna open these up hook it on we're gonna put it onto this chain and the cool thing about the heavy gauge is it fits this chain because I was worried if it wasn't gonna fit you know but back in the when I was first buying it because I prefer the tiny chain. I like, I don't know, I just, I like it better for stuff like this. And we're gonna hook that part on. We're gonna get the next jump ring, put it on here. Okay. And there we go, okay? So this one, and it's still on a continuous chain. I have not cut this off yet. I never like to pre-cut my chain. So what I do, for measurement reasons, let's move these up here, is every, and when you make a necklace, you always have to consider the jump ring space, the space for your lobster claw, for the two extra jump rings for the top part of your necklace. All of that plays factor into the actual full length of your necklace. 
Okay, so we, right now we'll have, we're gonna, I'm literally putting it from one to the end, which is 12 inches, which I'm including this little jump ring. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. That was 12 inches. So I'm holding it right here at 12. Then I go to the end of my um, ruler, butt that up there. So that's 13, 14, 15, 16. Now, when I do that, I do that 16, 17, and I don't do it at the 18 because I'm gonna minus the one inch because I have to factor in the lobster claw, jump ring, jump ring, okay? So that right there is equivalent to another inch. So that would be my 18 inches, okay? So you have to keep that in mind. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We're gonna cut it at 17. Adding this on makes it 18. So don't cut at 18 or else now you have an additional, it's 19 inches long once you add these pieces on, okay? So took that part. And we're gonna go ahead and, yeah, it was in the way. Oops. All right, move that chain out of the way. Now we're gonna do is we already put this jump ring on, on this side, okay? So we're gonna open up the jump ring. gonna put the other end on and we're gonna close it off all right now roll it out of the way now you're gonna see that it's completely closed on the side right so what I do is I turn it upside down so this part's gonna go up and we're gonna keep it even so you see it's even, not lopsided, because what we need to do is find the center, okay? And then we are going to cut where it looks like the center of the necklace, okay? Then we grab, oops, the jump ring. I'm gonna open this up, stick it on the chain. Can get that in there. There we go. I'm gonna put the lobster claw and we're gonna close this off. And we'll grab the other jump ring. Wait, okay, there it is. Because I didn't know if I saw the opening. Okay, all right. And we're gonna, there we go, find the chain. And then what we're gonna do is the other one inch piece that I cut off already, we're gonna hook that onto the jump ring. This is where we're creating the extension part of the necklace. Again, guys, I didn't put my glasses on. <laughs> you know, cause I don't wear them at home because I don't feel the need to do it. But when I'm doing something like this, I know I should be grabbing them and I just don't even think about it. I'm like, let me just get on the hair and create the video. All right, so then we have, there's one. This is where our 18 inch mark is. Now this is gonna be 19 inches. Okay, so now we have this. We wanted to do it this way so you'll see that's how it looks when you add it on there i have so many necklaces and i got this idea not for my because i created it i have necklaces that are like this that i buy that are sterling silver and they this is how they do their extensions so that you can pick it i have a pandora necklace actually that does that and it has hearts it's hearts all the way around and there's like a bigger heart for here to know you can clasp and there's an inch um, away from that there's another heart so that it fits any size um neck which is awesome Okay, so then what we can do, just because I like to, you know, add a little something, is I already have a pre-done little, no, I don't wanna use that stone, because it doesn't match. So therefore, I am going to use, let's see, I don't even think a white one would look good with that, actually. I don't know, even if 
I was to put a regular Swarovski crystal. Yeah, we can do a Swarovski. Okay. So we'll add that little five millimeter onto this right here, which is a two inch head pin. Okay. And this is just going to be a little tiny dangle, nothing major. So we're just going to cut off a portion of this, which I guesstimate, cut off less as opposed to more. Okay, so same thing right here. Keep it inside, tight, turn towards myself. Looks like a little question mark. Then we get our pliers with the ridges on it. And there you go, bada bing, bada boom. We're gonna hook it on this side of the jump ring. Actually, let's just open this back up again and hook it on directly. Okay. Just to have a little something. You really don't even have to do this part, but I like a little extra. Or even if you had like a little heart dangle you could put there too, or a little butterfly. This just happened to be where I just grabbed next. So it's just a little something in the back. And then that's it. And then this is like your bar necklace. So it's totally up to you guys. If you want to use something and you don't, maybe this is, too, you don't like this, maybe this is too much for you personally, then you can easily just take off these end pieces and make it towards smaller and just do a centerpiece like that. You can go big, medium, small. There's so many things you can do to create these type of necklaces. So that is it. I hope that was easy peasy for you guys. I had a blast making these. This is day one of a five day series. Make sure you guys comment below so that um, at the end of the five days when I do the giveaway of every single necklace that I make, I'll have two winners just like I did at my last one. And um, because I will be checking for comments, you don't have to leave, you know, writing. You can, if you want to leave um, something where you're saying something to me, you're free to do that. Or if you just want to put a heart, you can do that too. So don't feel like I'm, you know, requesting for you to leave me a novel in the comments by any means. Okay, so and that is it. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing and super blessed day. And I will see you for number two. All right, guys. Bye.